Good morning, darlings. Welcome to a new... What are you doing, Dickie? I'm just having a bit of a roll around on the floor, mummy. You are crazy. Ah, welcome to a new Vlogmas. It's Saturday today. You are such an angel. Welcome to a new Vlogmas, darlings. It is Saturday. Can you even pay attention to what I'm saying when Dickens is going off on a crazy tangent on the floor down there? Today is Saturday and it is the day of mine and Charlie's Christmas party. So, um, I basically have a day of Christmas baking and fun things ahead and then of course I will um, share the party with you. So we've got I think 12 or so friends coming around tonight and I'm going to be making eggnog, mince pies, um, dates wrapped in bacon, I'm going to try and make those like dried oranges that will go in at the G&Ts and things like that. So I really need to quickly make sure I've got all the ingredients I need because I'm about to go and meet my friend Vicky for a quick coffee down at Venn Street Market. Um, <laughs> So I will need to get any ingredients that I don't currently have in the house. Angel, why do you do that? You're such a funny little boy. Are you just scratching your back? You're really distracting mummy this morning with your cuteness. You are. But let me just quickly show you my super cozy getting stuff done on a Saturday outfit of the day. So I've got on my black sweaty betty leggings. I believe the 20% off discount is still working. So these are just the classic black leggings. They have got bum lifting technology. They keep my legs nice and warm. Then I have got my sorrel boots on. I'm so glad I got these. They are so cozy. Dicky, really. Um, they have got the shearling on the top here and they're pink suede. And they've also got a rose gold section at the back, which I love. I've got a high neck plain grey jumper, I say plain, it's actually got little like diamond detail on there. And then my super cosy coat cardigan, so I feel really lovely and bundled up and warm. So let's go down to the kitchen, check some ingredients, hey chicken, and then it's time to go and meet Vicky for coffee. <laughs> so I'm just going to meet Vic in Starbucks and I said, what is your coffee order? And she texts me saying, a coffee light, frappuccino, sugar-free vanilla, caramel drizzle in the cup, and less ice. Have you ever seen a more dramatic, a more complicated Starbucks order than this? Oh my goodness. Oh, the trees have fallen over. It's a very windy day. Very windy day. Festive gingerbread latte. Oh yes. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Okay, back home again. I have no idea why this lighting is so blue. <laughs> um, but I had a lovely gingerbread latte with Vicky. Gingerbread oat milk latte. And home again, I picked up some bits from Sainsbury's. So now I'm going to do my Christmas cooking ready for the party tonight. The first thing I need to do is make the spiced eggnog because that needs to go in the fridge for at least four hours so it's half three now four five six seven so it's literally just going to be ready by the time people get here so let's get cracking this is the recipe i'm going to be doing of course it is the um thermomix recipe spiced eggnog what i can do is actually set it up on the machine so i don't need to weigh the individual things it will do it automatically Okay, the eggnog is chilling in the fridge. I have just wrapped up the dates wrapped in bacon and it's about 45 minutes until our guests are going to be arriving. So I'm going to do a quick makeup top up. I just did a very, very light makeup this morning. Um, so I'm just going to put some slightly nicer makeup over the top. Haven't properly decided what I'm going to wear yet. Um, also need to add some curls into my hair. You will have seen festive get ready with me so I'm not gonna go through this makeup look because it's pretty much gonna be what's on that video but I'm gonna turn my Hollywood lights on Ooh. so I'm just gonna get myself ready and I will see you shortly and we are done so I just went for just my kind of classic evening makeup slightly heavier base I put the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk palette on my eyes Tom Ford Sable Smoke on my lips and I've got a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury highlight as well. 
I curled my hair actually with my really really old wand from a brand called Jose Hebert. I got this from Selfridges when I was about 16 years old so it's very old um, but when I want big curls like this it's what I use. I've set them in place with some L'Oreal L nets, um, popped a headband on and let me show you my dress. So I decided to pop on my Topshop dress, the, look at Dickie, oh my goodness, this is a running theme today, isn't it, young man? Dickie's got his Christmas jumper on, my crazy little boy. I've got on my Jimmy Choo shoes and just the best sequin dress in the world and it's only £65, I would highly recommend investing in this dress. So this is my look for the evening, I'm going to go and do some finishing touches to the eggnog um, before people arrive anytime soon. Okay, you are crazy. Come on, Angel. Come downstairs with your mummy. So this is Charlie's mulled wine station for when people arrive. Got the ginger and the orange ready to go. Canapes, oh my goodness. And the, well, and the mulled wine is bubbling away. I need to get the thermal mix up and running again, ready to do the final step for the eggnog. So this is what 12 egg whites, four minutes with the butterfly whisk in the funnel mix looks like. So now I've got to fold in the chilled mixture with a metal spoon. Good morning, darlings. So the party last night was a great success. We had a really lovely evening. The eggnog went down very well indeed. We are now at Charlie's mom and dad's house. We're about to go for a lovely walk in the park, Windsor Great Park. Uh, Charlie's dad took his nan and dada out um, on the quadricycle. It's like a tuk-tuk earlier. And they saw the queen going for her Sunday church service. So maybe we'll spot her royal highness, who knows. Uh, but we're just gonna take the dogs for a walk. They've been very good. They were so good last night with all the people over. Um, and they've been very good in the car journey. Viv's put her decorations up. I've got my toasty Topshop coat on. And I've got my little bobble hat too. So let's go for a little walk. to be filling them with a broth um, and then we have tofu, fish and beef which we call ourselves beef. not just any beef wagyu beef uh, so that's so that's what we're having for our luncheon we're right next door to Harrods so I might pop into there oh no I won't be allowed to got seafood with me and you won't be able to air because you have a facial but not so free but I'm not allowed in Harrods with a suitcase, so they're not allowed. You're not allowed to take luggage. Anyway, um, and then I've got a facial at the Urban Retreat, which used to be the spa within Harrods, but now it's separate. Oh, oh my cocktail has arrived. Thank you. You got a face on your. Yum yum yum. Got the whole kettle. These are the starters. They look delish. We've got some cabbage and glass noodles, cucumber with sesame oil, um, and Charlie's just dipping into a, I think it's a chicken and bean tofu. Looks good. And my cocktail is in the coolest glass. Well, mocktail. Looks good. Wowzers. So the hot pot is bubbling away, and this is all the food to go inside. So there's the wagyu beef at the top seafood at the middle section and then mushroom and tofu at the bottom. Yum! Something like that. Chinese people see me do that, they will say, oh my god, this guy, you cannot use chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> you to it. Right, Enjoy. That now, yeah? yeah, see you later. So that lunch was absolutely delicious, just what you need on a cold day. It's like the most hearty, 
warming food and not too unhealthy either. In fact, not unhealthy at all. It was just artsy scrumptious. Just stopped here because Harrods is behind and it is one of the most lovely festive spots in London. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not allowed in because I've got my suitcase. I don't have time to check it in. But my next stop for the day is just down the road here. It's called White House Urban Retreat. It's basically the spa that I believe used to be in Harrods um, is now just down here on Hans Crescent. And I have got a 45 minute long facial. So let's go. darlings it's been a few hours since I properly spoke to you so I think the last I vlogged was just going in to my facial I've popped on a little bit of makeup because we just went out for an honest burger a bit of a pre-Christmas treat but I am already looking at dates to book myself in for another one of those facials because it was only 45 minutes but she did so much including extraction which I needed on my nose and on my chin um massage and you know when their massage technique is just really really good <laughs> that's what it was like and I had a mask I had a scalp massage I would highly recommend I think next time I'm going to go for a little bit longer but today where time was a little bit short and I just wanted a bit of a pre-Christmas glow it was absolutely perfect so thank you to the White House for getting in touch and sorting that out for me I would love to love to be back I will be booking myself in and I'm gonna end the vlog here it's been quite a long one and this is actually the last vlog before Christmas but just like I did last year I will be doing a kind of what I did and what I wore over Christmas so you have a new vlog um, before too long but darlings if you stuck with me throughout the whole of vlogmas I hope you enjoyed it do let me know down below your video requests for the new year um, and that is all from me have a fantastic Christmas I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye. Not just mommy and daddy that get treats, but puppies oh, too. Look at these mince pies. Right. Mince pies for puppies. Mince pies Dexter? for puppies. Mince Dexter, pies for puppies. Dexter, Dexter.